Hi guys, welcome to Money Movie Fan Channel. My name is Tyler. Today's review is going to be for season one of The Boys. Uh, it's an Amazon original show, superhero show based on the comic book uh, that I haven't read actually. But this show, I actually haven't seen the trailer before I started it. And I started the show, and when A Train runs through that guy's girlfriend, I'm like, oh my god, holy shit. And, again, it's in the trailers so people kind of see it, and it, they weren't shocked by it. But when I saw that, I was like, oh, my God. But there's a ton of moments like that in the show where just crazy things are happening. A girl sits on a guy's face and kills him. She's got, like, Wolverine claws. The show is awesome. I love that it plays on superhero tropes that we, as audience members, have kind of been, like, ingrained with really hammered in our brains that we know from the past three decades of all these movies and shows and comic books and everything coming out these superheroes and all these mediums but the plane episode with homelander is so great because it's so well performed him and Maeve are great in that scene of people screaming and stuff but it's set up where you expect the superhero to land the plane you see that in a bunch of different things it harkens back to superman returns brandon Ralph superman puts a plane on his back and lands in the football field. That was the big thing in that movie. And Homelander doesn't do that. He's like, what do you want me to do? Punch it and it'll like either break up on impact or it'll knock off its course and spiral out of control. Whatever he says, it's like, wow, he's not even going to try. And that's kind of crazy. But all the superheroes in the show are just worried about their public image. But Homelander is such a great, well-written villain and he has so many complexities that are contradictory sometimes. He's such a strong, almost unstoppable force, but then he gets, like, breastfed. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But he and all the other heroes have a lot of layers to them that I credit the writers to um, in this show. And then the actors are also great. It's just like it, anything can happen in this show, the way it's written. It's surprisingly well-written. And all the performances are really impressive. I like like the goofiness of the deep, all the jokes they make off of that. That actor's really good. I like all the actors. A Train, what they do with him is is pretty interesting considering he's just like kind of like a speedster. They don't really have a character like that that I can think of in, in anything else. Yeah, feels like anything can happen in the boys. There's a ripped guy named Mother's Milk. <laughs> so and there's so many threads leading into season two after season one, especially with Butcher's wife, that final scene that they show you and leave you hanging on. You're like, oh, man, I got to watch season two. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of great things. John Carlo Esposito looks like he's going to be one of the main villains working with the company. Uh, he'll probably take over now that Homelander killed uh, is breastfeeding lady, which was great, by the way. She was great, too. Lots of great villains in this. For my Season 2 review of The Boys, you can click right here, and it will take you to that. Hit the like button and hit subscribe. Share this video all around your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next video.